Today we are back with a homeowner series on the Nebraska Lands USA map. We have quite a lot of projects to complete today. I got up just over two hours ago. I ate breakfast and came out here to the back patio. This is one awesome view to look at. Now, before we get going on today's project, so let's head over to Diesel's doghouse. We'll give him a bit of food and a treat, and let's see if he wants to run around and have some fun. Today we have a lot of different things happening here at the property. We did have a few tradesmen come by and do a few projects for us, which we'll be uh, finishing today. We will be getting a play set here for the kids, some bushes, and a whole lot of, of cool things. We'll give him one more bowl of food, and then we'll get going on what we need to do. Diesel always eats well. We give him a ton of food and he gets a lot of exercise here, which is awesome. Come on, Diesel, looks like. Uh, let's see if he wants to kind of come with us. And there he goes. He's running with us, which is so, so cool. And I really do like the backyard so far. I did order some patio furniture. We actually have a lot of things on order, which is pretty cool. But we did have a few carpenters come by, and they actually built us this trailer port. So what we are doing is we will be putting our enclosed trailer back here. That way all the car stuff is in the same area there. So let's hop into Landscape Tool, put a gravel pad down, and get the trailer moved over. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy and a bit cold, but it's been uh, great. Perfect. That looks to be good there. And I really wanted to just kind of move the enclosed trailer over here. That way he gave us more room. And it looks like Diesel already ran back over there to the doghouse. He really likes it out there. Now I do have some big news here for all of you. I did order another sports car for this series. I really wanted this. I did talk about it, I think, when we were buying a few of the other cars. So we have one more sports car coming, and the Bronco is more than likely going to be sold this week. So we'll be dropping that off uh, next week to the new uh, buyer. And this looks to be good. So this trailer will only now be used for our sport cars, transporting them and things like that. That way we don't damage it, putting our off-road toys, getting it a full mud, dirt, and things like that. I really want that for when we uh, trailer our sport cars to the track or to a shop or uh, to a different part of the country. And let's put this inside. So I think up next, why don't we uh, wash the, uh, some sport cars while uh, we were kind of doing that there. But really quickly, let's check up here on the chickens. And they've been doing pretty well. Now I do probably want to add probably around 10 more chickens uh, coming soon. I think that would be a pretty good amount. So I think today we will wash the uh, C8 Corvette and the GT3. I really do like the uh, GT3. One of my favorite cars. Maybe, just maybe, we have another Porsche coming here. But this car looks sweet. This is a Dot 2, uh, which is awesome. And this is the 2020 C8. So let's see. I'm not sure where the pressure washer is. Hopefully, it's kind of right around here and we could get going on washing. Let's get the uh, C8. I believe this will be our first wash with the car. And let's get the pressure washer. And here we go. So that's awesome. I uh, thought we weren't going to be able to get it here. Now I am trying to kind of increase the uh, graphics, the textures on the C8 as well. Hopefully we could do that. But I thought this was a pretty cool way to incorporate uh, sport cars into uh, farming simulator was with the homeowner series. Now we only have a 35 to 40 foot hose so we can't go too too far but a nice uh, rinse here with the pressure washer and we do have the filters so we won't have any water spots which is good. Let's get each wheel. Perfect. Now I am back in school and it's been a bit busy, but I'm excited to be back and I do uh, have a lot of school work, but uh, I will continue to make all these videos here for you. Now I did do some measurements and we should also be able to fit three cars wide here, uh, which is pretty cool. Now when uh, Chevrolet comes out with the Z06, we'll trade that one in. That's just the uh, Stingray. The Z06 will be pretty quick and a lot of probably uh, cool features about it. 
the GT3 is definitely one of my dream cars. I really do like all of the uh, GT cars from Porsche. <laughs> they look so, so cool. Now, a few of you guys did ask me to get a Nissan GTR and maybe a Ferrari. I am actually working on a Ferrari uh, that is going to be a pretty awesome one. Perfect, so we got these washed here. That's just kind of a nice thing to do. And I actually want to have some fun on the dirt track today as well, so we'll do that. But up next, let's kind of go get that play set. That's going to be quite a bit of work, and uh, the kids will enjoy it once we're done. So back here, we'll kind of put it in this corner. We should have enough room for it. I think let's first get it placed, and then we'll kind of put the sand around it. So here we are. I first want kind of the uh, play set structure, and here we go. So I think we'll put it right about there. That looks to be good, and here's the play set we'll put there. If you do have any recommendations here for this series, please let me know. I really do enjoy this series. This is a ton of fun. So many cool things we do. Very unique uh, videos. And I definitely cannot wait uh, for the coming months here. Now, let's see. Do we have enough room? We'll actually surprise the kids. They do not know it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we do. Can we rotate this? A little bit of rotation would be nice. Awesome. So that's one cool play set. And let's take a quick look at it. Maybe Diesel will come over here and watch the kids. We got uh, two swing sets, which are nice. Wooden uh, seats are okay. Maybe we'll change those to plastic. We got some nets to climb there. We got a slide in a little kind of house, which is awesome. And the uh, seesaws are a ton of fun as well. Up next, we will be putting bushes all along this back area. I think that's going to be good. It, it will kind of separate the uh, two properties we do have. And I think it will look a little bit cleaner as well. So let's see. Here are the shrubs. And, oh yeah, we'll just put it right along the wall here. And that's perfect. I actually kind of like that it overhangs the gate just a little bit as well. That way it's kind of hard to see. Now I am thinking that we should get some horses for this series. We had them at the old house. Maybe, just maybe, we might have to buy them again. And perfect. So you guys can see the majority of our projects are complete. There is a few other things that I really wanted to do before we have some fun on the dirt track. And actually we'll end today jumping in the swimming pool. Was I actually put down some grass here and it looks like the seed did good. But I want to move that trailer inside. So let's see what we can do. And actually uh, switching this here I think gave us a ton more room. Oh yeah. That's awesome. So let's put that there. And then let's bring the uh, utility trailer inside. I really like that enclosed trailer out there. It's kind of like I did touch upon. I want to put all the car things in the same area. And especially since uh, we don't really use that trailer too much. It's nice to put it there. Now I think we might sell the toy hauler and get a different camper, uh, another toy hauler, but a bumper pull, I think that would be a pretty cool thing. Actually, we could park the truck right here and not have to worry about moving it to get things out, which is great. And then let's uh, hop in the players and have some fun. So my goal here with this series is to do projects around the house. Not all the time do we have to go buy a new car, things like that. But we do have some pretty cool things in store, especially a brand new uh, sports car coming. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze here, but we can make it out here, which is awesome. Now I first want to go get the mail. This is a pretty cool thing to get the mail with and while we'll actually close the gate. Awesome, we got the mail here. We'll uh, move this out of the way and we'll close the gate. Looks like we just got some advertisements from the uh, dealerships, usually uh, the car dealerships. I get all the bills uh, electronically paid and we'll just kind of slip it in the door. Perfect, so we dropped a pile there. We'll get that uh, tonight, but let's kind of head out and see what we can do. And you guys can see that windmill. That's just so cool. Actually, a few farmers drove by and gave us some compliments on it, which is pretty awesome. I actually really like how that bush kind of hangs over. You can't really even tell uh, that uh, there's an opening there. 
we want to be careful we do not want to roll this over pretty expensive player is and we just want to have fun If you guys have not already, I do recommend you check me out on Instagram. I do post every single day, and it's a lot of fun giving you guys sneak peeks, cool things that are coming to the channel. Now, I was going to work out all of the bumps here with this uh, track, but I, I kind of like them. The player seems to be doing a pretty good job. Now, I want a, kind of a high-speed track, less turns and like full throttle uh, with the players. So I think that would be fun, like this little section, high speed, and then big, big braking. You guys can see we just kind of slid through there. And uh, let's see, what else uh, do we have to do today? Let's actually close this. Uh, there's always uh, some animals running by, some deers, things like that. And with this pool, if we did not have a fence around the entire property, we would have had to put a fence just around the swimming pool. So I really do like this fence. It serves a ton of purposes, and uh, that is one of them. But this is such a cool backyard. Just look at this. Why don't we put the uh, players back inside, and let's uh, hop in the pool. Now we uh, should be ready to mow the lawn. I think next week uh, will be the time. And we'll just leave that back there. But this is turning out uh, to be probably one of the best properties we've had. And I'm already looking at getting the uh, next house here for us. But we'll uh, probably be on this map for three, uh, four more weeks at the very least. And even probably a few more months uh, to be uh, more specific. But inside here, you guys, some big changes are coming next week. And I cannot wait for it. Now I was also thinking, do we change the color of these cabinets to black I think black might be a little, little bit better uh, for us and I think that would be awesome but look at this guys we have some pretty epic cars and we have one more on the way And we'll get a running jump and let's jump in the pool. Now we do have some pool furniture coming along with uh, some floats, but I think we just might need a diving board. That would be a pretty cool, fun thing to add here to the uh, pool. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.